Hi everybody, this is Bones. We're back in here in the Alternative Energies Lab. Uh, I want to show you a uh, MMW test, a flow test. This is uh, this is the new cell. We're going to. Uh, you can see the camera. I have it focused on the flow meter that I had. Nobody's nothing special. It's just like everybody else. Um, I'm going to show you the flow rate that we're getting out of this. I am running right now at about 12 amps, 10 volts flat. My cell temperature is 126. It's been running for about an hour. This is with uh, well water straight from my well. I don't have hard water. We've got pretty good water standard water it's just not it's not hard though that's important um, and four grams of KOH so we're gonna go ahead and start the test now and see how long it takes this is a 300 milliliter test so mark I'm hoping you can see it the numbers coming up there's the numbers right there. The, look at the water line. The blue water line is my line there. So I tried putting blue dye in it so you could see it. It's no special chemical, it's just blue food coloring inside of the uh, thing. We're at 250 mark, and we are at 300 now. So that's 24 seconds. You'll be able to time that on the timeline if you watch the timer on your screen on the bottom. So that's 24 seconds. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I always do my tests three times in a row. Mark, I always do my tests three times in a row to make sure I'm getting the, the right reading. We're at 150, 200, 250. That's 23 seconds, so we're pretty consistent. And one more time. Mark. And we're at 200. And 250, and 300. That's 23 seconds. So that's pretty consistent. 23. We got a 24, 23, and 23. So that's pretty good. I'm going to slide this out of the picture a little bit because this is my little contraption I got made here that vents my bottle up into my hood vent. I believe I've showed you this before. Uh, let's see if I can do this out messing it up too bad. Just goes up into uh, the hood bin up there. And as you'll see up there, I got a little computer fan running up there. And that little white tube right there just goes up inside that hood vent. And that hood vent gets vented right outside into uh, the backyard. So uh, that's 23. So let's mark that down at 23. That was 300 milliliters at 23 seconds. And it would be 12 volt or 12 amps. And it was at 10 volts flat. Temperature of my cell is 129. Seems to be rising a little bit. Let's check it again with our digital. 123, 19, 121. So we're, we'll, let's give it 125. 125 is the cell temperature. 
and that's after one hour of runtime. Pretty happy so far. Tests are coming out pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write some more numbers down, let this run for a little while longer, and uh, we'll go from there. Just trying to keep you guys up to date here. Again, that's uh, well water. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. The uh, O-rings on the previous video, I showed you how I changed, I, I, I rimmed that out as a little V and put those uh, those little O-rings in the side to see if I can't stop the, uh, the leak. There you go. There's the top of the cell, not a drop of water. So I'm happy to say that's the ticket. You just got to ream your... Uh, Ring the top of your pipe out just a little bit, put a concave in there, and take yourself a quarter inch washer, a quarter inch rubber washer. And uh, I'll tell you exactly what they were. They were um, quarter inch OD by three inch, or I'm sorry, quarter inch ID by three eighths OD by one sixteenth wall, round rubber washer. Fit right inside that uh, little cavity there, squished it down, tightened it around the bolt. It's been running for an hour. Not one drop, not one leak. So very happy with it. So uh, go ahead and we'll check it out. And uh, like I said, our flow rate, we have it down there documented. And uh, we'll try it again. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit higher and see if I can crank up the amperage and the voltage and see what I can do from there. So until next time, thanks, guys.